Andreas lives here. Everyone say hi. So the final thing that we're going to do for today is we're going to do um, an LS speed run, but Liv is going to commentate, which was the penultimate um, incentive. We do have the blindfolded one as well, but that will be done another day because it will take a bit more time. Um, so for now, we're going to finish up with sort of one that you're about in between with, right? Because you didn't know shit about three. You knew quite a lot about VC. And then SA, you know, like bits and pieces because you've done a couple of runs. Yeah. yeah. I don't know shit. Actually, I know, I know like some things. I know like a general route and I actually know what happened in the mission in the missions casually. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. definitely somewhere in between. So it's a lot more of an <laughs> Oh shit, sorry, that probably sounded horrible. I just whacked my <laughs> whacked my water bottle against the mic. <laughs> sorry. Did you stop doing the post-it notes on the wall after you stopped the timer or are you still doing all of no, no, that so, stuff? You've still been so doing so. it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Earlier on I thought you had the fan on, but it was literally just, just my your well, PC. I did have several fans on inside my computer. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you had the big fan on. Alright, you ready to go? Yeah, can you move over a little bit? Oh, like yeah, sure. mega on the edge of the room. On the edge. I just looked over at the timer and I was like, fucking hell, five hours, and then I realised we're just doing LS. Yeah, I'm that, I'm that shit. <laughs> five hours. It's like your PB, isn't it? Yep. I don't remember what my PB my PB was. Like it wasn't. It wasn't three hours. I don't remember what it was. Okay, good. Really? Yeah. Final run of the day, you excited? And then final... Well, it's literally the final part of the subathon. I, literally the final part. I was going to say it's marbles. Literally the, literally the finale. I was going to say there's, there's no point in having marbles because there's no VIPs. Why not? I guess because you just un VIP, VIP them until after. The end of the event, but it's the end of the they would get like 10 minutes VIP. Let's <laughs> see song titles. Ah, uh, bollocks. Already losing yeah. so much time. Yeah. I don't know. Is it is it is it a exploit or a glitch that you can just like, or is it intentional when you like a cycling to just like fucking spam forwards? Oh, it's intended. It's intended. Balls, yeah. At least it was before I fucked everything up. Never mind then. It's just. The I knew that. Because when I played, I never, I never knew you could do that when I played through casually. And then you were like, just it spam it. Hell of a bike. Repeatedly. Uh, I just can't faster. read. <laughs> I was playing as Japanese. I, say it, it comes I was up. playing in Japanese because it's faster. So. <laughs> I feel like with SA, it's gonna be a bit easier because there's not as many like game break. At least in LS, there's not yeah. as many like game breaking glitches. Yeah, yeah. So you like all have, you do in this you mission is just push. Button, yeah. All you have to do in a lot of the missions is, oh my god, missions is just push somebody or um, just like straight up skip part of a mission or like you know where the people are going to drive to so you can get fast kills on people and things like that. But it's not like, it's not like, oh, I'm going to fucking dupe and fail, dupe and schmerz, whatever the fuck in, in GCA 3. <laughs> Shit, but all he did was push. Sweet. Yeah. And then you push Ryder the second time. I remember. I've done two LS runs. I know what I'm talking about. Liv commentates. She will explain explain Jupin to us. You already missed it. I've already done it in uh, Vice City and GTA 3. Well, the best thing about SA as well is duping is way more simple. But in LS, not that I can remember. There's well, no, yeah, I actually don't do it. There's no duping. If you were commentating full game, yeah, it's way easier. But I'm not. So. But SA duping is just start a mission twice and you skip the next one. I feel like there's so much of. Oh yeah, you want to get a gun, right? Is that, oh, is that, why, is that why you're calling these guys? I thought you were supposed to kill a cop. 
I'm pretty sure on my route, Ben told me to pull a cop because they always no, have no it. Ah. A cop, a drug dealer, or a uh, or a baller, I suppose. Yeah. What missions in GTA 5 did you skip? Uh, Eye in the Sky, I Fought the Law. I don't know, I'm asking if any of the titles yeah, are going to mean anything. Anyway. Like, what? Okay, I'll ask you later for a more in depth which mission you skipped because yeah. I'll need you to explain what happened in the mission. Please know what it is. Hi, Speed. Thanks for hanging out. But yeah, I feel like with Vice City there was so much to say. I felt like the entire time I was trying to explain like 10 things at once. With SA, it's like he's pushing sweet. SA is tough because it's such a gauntlet. That's it. But mission to mission, it's a lot easier. Yeah. There's just a lot to remember because it's like five times as much. Well, yeah, if you're doing a full run, there's so much to remember. Yeah. But then in, in Vice City, like it's only a hour long run, but you, you, there's so much that you're doing that in that hour. Whereas like there's just so much of SA. Yeah. Do you remember why I'm saving three times? Though? Yeah, for life's a beach later. Yeah. So you make sure you're there at the right time. Yeah. No waiting about. I was actually, you're not gonna believe me, but I was literally about to say. <laughs> I was just finishing my thought first, otherwise I'll never finish that sentence again. I'll just forget what I was saying. So, in this mission, I remember um, the first time Ben is gonna Ben is gonna be really hey, silly. <laughs> He's gonna blow up the car home. the first time. Um, literally all because there's one, uh, well, either a cutscene or a line hey, in a mission in a bit. The, a cutscene that um, that doesn't play if you're doing it the second time. It is oh, you, yeah, that's it. You can skip it. That was it. If you're doing the mission for the second time, which makes sense. Yeah, I think I'd get cut up. But it's very silly. Whatever. And people always say in the chat, well, like you say DJ. people always always ask so why did you blow up the car? Here? I'm not. I'm thinking of staying. What? Now that I'm watching this as well, I realise I can't I remember. I keep getting you muddled up between the challenge, Titan Andreas, and like actual. How do you think I feel? Because like I've watched so much of the challenge recently with editing it, and watched so much Titan Andreas content, and they're like, "What do you do in the actual just normal game?" <laughs> He gets the specific haircut with all of his money. I can't remember what it's called. Hope you stick Jerry Curl. Jerry Curl. I would. I must, if I was looking at the list, I would have known which one you picked. It's not relevant for this, but it's just. Habit. But later on, then it's like get better sex appeal or whatever. So yeah, for like full game. It, yeah, in full game. It's yeah, relevant. I I know for this it doesn't mean anything. I'm just explaining why you're doing it. Well stacked, sir. Ben has muscle memory. We stack them high. Shame we didn't ever do more than one cooking stream. Yeah, we can always do more. This yeah. pizza parlor's no pushover. We just all because we're never like doing like uh, what you waiting for, fool? Take us back to the I've just done it by myself and I've just like thrown stuff to the game like yeah. together quickly. Like it's just been too busy yeah. to do like for me to help you with the cooking stream. Like you could do it, but you'd have to do it all yourself. But also I just didn't have time like today to set like an hour to eat all the still cooking. Yeah. I'd be going all night. Better drop by and see Sweet. He's been yapping on about that graffiti too. Later, homie. God, that cuts. If, when you can't hear the cutscenes, they feel so long. That felt so long. I mean, they are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, mission's fun. There's so much of it is just drive casually to the next mission. <laughs> there are some routes that you take driving later that like you wouldn't think to drive that way like when you're going to the um thing like rider garage and you drive like through and you cut through that i'll, I'll, I'll explain it in a second because i can't even think what i mean and when you go through like the sewage system yeah the, yeah but this is like very obvious. this is obvious spray the thing you can spray this one through the wall if you like stand in a certain place i thought it was hard but it's actually really easy uh never mind it's really hard and then in a second, Ben's gonna do something that I can't do. Actually, I did it eighth Come try on, on my on my last run that I tried jump. this. Yeah, <laughs> I did it eighth try. I almost gave up on trying them before. It is tricky. I felt like I was doing everything right, but I obviously wasn't. I have to. Well, you already did watch and you told me that was too early, that was too late, that was this, that was that. You hit this up here, and I go up and do another. Hoop. Yeah, we had Shepherd's Pie at the start of the week. Did we? 
That's how long ago it was. I don't remember having shepherd's pie. The first day. Oh, on your actual birthday, yeah. yeah. You can spray these guys in the face as well with the thing, so they don't like back you. But I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I mean. Oh, he just, <laughs> he just walked. If you're a boy, you can shoot them before the cutscene. Skip the cutscene. Wow. And then but. Ben's gonna run across the pavement here. And he's gonna jump on the roof. And it's like it doesn't look hard when Ben does it, but I literally. Oh, never mind. He failed. I went too far. <laughs> never mind. Never it mind. It is hard. It took me eight tries, and I was proud of that. <laughs> and it skipped that all that just to skip a little bit of a jumping, uh, like climbing tutorial. Game's so silly. The ledge grabbing is an RNG, but you've got to make sure that you're stood on the pavement. You have to be in like a really certain position and jump yeah. at the right time, and the yeah. timing's a little bit weird. Like and you've got to sprint jump as well to get Yeah, the and it doesn't feel right. When you do it right, it doesn't feel right. You feel like you're too far away. Yeah, it all comes back. How you doing on the Fetty? I'm kind of soaked, you know. Crash took all my paper, man. Left me with number small chance. <laughs> hey, get yourself a beer or something. But it move feels like um, DYOM, but like <laughs> the actual game. Because the DYOM is the. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't remember what a secret mode is. Mission. I'll probably remember as we're doing it. The one where the car doesn't move until sweet. Uh, Piggy gets in, that wasn't sweet. Yeah, you try to get any of these crackheads to help you out. No I said that there's one. Oh, I think so. I said there's one. And you know yours truly. Grove Street don't bang no more. Um. I feel like so many. When I did my. Oh, I remember. You can, like. One way you can, like, crouch in the road and then you can shoot him before he, like. Before a certain cutscene happens or something. I don't know. There's a cutscene, but you, you can skip it if you just kill him early enough. I think that's, that's all that's different about that. Then just, just fucking go back. Whoa, good video game! Oh my god. Mm. Rob saw you were streaming uh, 4 and 5 and he immediately turned off the stream. I think he doesn't mind 4, he doesn't like 5. Uh, never mind. Man, you can smell even then he popped in like way. halfway through. Yeah, let's shoot through and introduce He closed his eyes and just typed in the chat. Well, he doesn't, that's how you know it's a real one. Even though he's openly admitted he doesn't like the game, he still pops it. Going down. I can't remember any of the speedruns about these missions. I feel like it's just literally casual. <laughs> Apart from he's shooting Ryder for some reason. Families on their way back up. You shoot those guys. Yeah. Has he not? Okay. Well. You're not supposed to have gun. Right. You're supposed to do it with a baseball bat. This is bass in the silence of victory, motherfucker. Okay. I think when you, like I only ever play this game, the speed run way, so it's, it, it, it can be hard to forget. Yeah, Grove gonna get back on the um, Hard to forget. I mean, hard to remember what the original like game is supposed to be like. Yeah, Same with Vice City when you're like, oh, this is the pain spray mission. I'm like, which pain spray mission? <laughs> you're like, this is the pain spray tutorial. I'm like, there's not a pain spray tutorial. What are you talking about? This is quite a complicated mission. Um. Oh my god, it's the mission. We gotta talk about it. We Next to Bathon, um, Ben should have an, an incentive to go to our you local McDonald's. Like. <laughs> That'd be so cringe. They would just... Oh god, I wouldn't no, even want to be in the car I with you. you well, yeah, probably. Oh yeah, you can just get them like stuck, I remember this. I managed to do this mission really fast on my first remember You were like, wow, that was actually really fast. But I think I got like mega lucky. The car like got stuck on something. I did it super fast. Because you usually have to chase them around for ages. But on my second run, uh, I missed. Because I, you're supposed to go on the right hand side of them because that's easier because they turn right the first time. And I forgot and went on the left hand side and then I was chasing them for like. What felt like 10 minutes. The difference between a fast drive through and a normal drive through is like minutes. So yeah, it's such a long mission. You don't realize how long it is. So you, until you like same with like mall shootout if you mess it up you realize like oh my god yeah. this mission is so long everybody else is losing theirs and blaming you straight home what nothing nothing just some poetry i read i don't need to finish it yet for tell me why you moved out the grow you got like five missions in yeah but then i got poorly <laughs> Nines and AKs. 
Well, it's different about knives and AKs. You. Oh yeah, you just shoot. You just do. You do the mission casually, but then you just every time you get a break in between shooting the the bottles, you either shoot uh, Big Smoke or whatever the other guy's called. Emmett. Emmett. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the whole mission. This is a speed run, by the way. It literally is like, the, it feels like the complete opposite of GTA 3. GTA 3, I was like, what the fuck is he doing? And now I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but you know you gotta keep it real. I admire you, Carl. When Ben Skate shoots Smoke, Smoke dies, gets annoyed. He killed Smoke before. Can you even kill Smoke? Oh, Jesus, I didn't know you could kill him. When I played with Silent Patch in the shop, Surely you should just beat the game. If you kill Smoke at the start, surely you should just win. Sorry. Stupid. Doesn't that mean that you can do Big Smoke 135 times and skip right to the end of the game? What the? What the? No, I like to stop. Fuck, Cadbury's garbage. What the hell is MDVMM slash CE? This is duplication yeah, VMM real, manipulation, bro. which is. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically you use on mission changes to just dupe everything <laughs> as much as you want. But there's so many dupes that are just conflict <laughs> for the a, game. Sorry. It's just such a weird, weird, long abbreviation. That's why I don't call it that. It's stupid. Oh, I just call it MDVM. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. Yeah. But like, two hours in, you know Monster, the Monster Truck mission? Yeah. You dupe that three times. Three instances of it running. Then you do the whole mission, and at the end, it's a coin flip whether your game crashes or not. Oh. So you lose five minutes every single time. Monster, Two hours the in. mission where you just drive around all the fucking countryside, or whatever, whatever it's called, as a like desert, a desert that's it. For a, just, because the game justifies it as this is your way of exploring the area. Yeah. Making it mandatory to just drive around yeah. aimlessly. On, <laughs> Monster is literally the worst up. fucking mission. I don't know if it's the worst mission. It's the up, funniest it's part up is they did the exact same with San Fierro as well. I'm talking about Which is the first Fiero mission in San Fierro where Fiero flowers in your hair. Where you pick up Jethro and Dwayne and shit from all around. And you're literally just doing the same thing, driving around the entire city. But at least it's still not great. If you're picking up people, I don't remember that mission. At least there's a narrative reason. At least there's some kind of narrative reason. With Monster, it's just like, oh, just drive around. They gave up. Just drive. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Best game ever made, by the way. Literally it's perfect. Can't game. criticize it, by the way. Did you know? Fun fact: when you go into this, you don't actually have to get Grove Street colors. You can just, you can just leave again. That's probably the biggest strat in this. Mission. Oh my god! You can just leave. Biggest time so. I lost like ten minutes in my last run because I couldn't couldn't decide which shirt to pick. <laughs> That just reminded me of like the cringe comments whenever you see like a Dark Souls speedrun. Yeah, it's like, bro, you beat that in 16 hours. 16 hours, I was still in character creation. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good content. Fucking so bad. Shut up. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. I still choose my class. No, my law. <laughs> that's good shit. I know you hate that, but that's good shit. It was funny the first time. That was good shit. Wasn't that's my first time I heard it. Yeah, exactly. I feel like as we go in, there'll be more. Like Life's a Beach is fun to explain. Good to hang with you, brother. I'm sorry. Well, I this is a cool shot. Um, me trying it. to remember what happens in this mission. I'll get, I'll get to it. Don't worry. I'll get to it when I get to it. Oh, you know that um, oh, yeah. He's a real in the speed man. run, on, that's not <laughs> even a funny joke. I'm, I'm not finishing that thought. It's fucking stupid. For, for that, was, that was gonna be really stupid. Um, what the fuck even happens here? Pick him up. Oh, this is the one where you chase the. Oh, yeah, you chase the guy. Oh, yeah, this one's fun. So, this is again like a really, really long chase, right? I'm wondering if anyone listening is actually learning anything from me, or I feel like sometimes, you know when you just, I feel like I'm explaining what everybody knows. No? <laughs> okay. These people are all noobs, don't know how to play Okay, you're all noobs, listen to me. So, this is a really long chase where you chase this guy on the bike, he's really annoying, and he goes around in circles. If you know where to go, you can just like park the bike on a certain corner. You know everything, okay, you can just, you can just mute then. <laughs> um, you can just pike the like, park the bike on a certain corner and just like really quickly, really quickly kill him and shoot him. What? 
Ben's gonna try hard so he doesn't miss it. But even if he missed the first one, there's, just, there's a backup corner. I always fucking hit one of these corners. <laughs> I swear these hitboxes are massive, but they're not. The amount of times I think I just hit air. Yeah, so you go. He got. He's gone down there, and then we'll meet him like right on this corner. Ben, ben has so much time. It's actually crazy how much time he's got. He's done it. Fun fact: this thing, no poison. Can't reach to it. Wait, well, I didn't see. The sign, the, uh, the metal pole on the sign does that. Crazy. I'm learning things too. <laughs> it's RNG. What can you get? Perennial fucking awesome. Just lost two minutes or something. <laughs> Come on, you need to exercise more. Uh, uh, we'll get we'll get to the big smoke train mission later. I'm ready to end. I'll show you how to follow that mission. Look at you, all muscly and shit. Ah, I remember when I first played that. When you learn how to like do it the speedrun way, it's like this mission is so easy. Yeah. But when when you're just like chasing it the like intentional way, that mission is hard. It's like. Big Smoke just doesn't shoot the guys when you're like next to the fucking train. He does, obviously, if you're in like the right place. But it's like, it's so annoying. I, I've talked about this mission in we'll time. We'll get there. The, the issue is that it's poorly designed. It's poorly coded. That's the problem. Like, doesn't shoot. And when that guy like falls down, you're in perfect sight of him. Yeah. And, uh, and, he's and he's completely invincible. Scripted to be invincible. You didn't let me. Ben doesn't let me get to it. And he's invincible. <laughs> I'm doing the commentary. <laughs> hey, I was just bouncing up here. I'd argue unfinished. I would also argue unfinished. That mission's garbage. Move my, move my quick. Mike away from Ben. Thanks for the ride, it's my commentary. This is yeah, mine. Sure. I'll see you around. Like a now because we did that um, messing around with saves earlier, we're perfectly in time for life to be. Oh, never mind. Lol. I thought it was from eight until six. No, this is the one that I wrote on my notes. It was eight till six, and then I changed it to Makes ten. Sense. But now in my head, I'm like, it's eight. So now he's actually perfectly far too early. <laughs> so <tense or> <laughs> Massive type tens. Oh, nice. Did you, did you make the replay? Yeah, I didn't see it. So just before we started, well, when we were doing OG Loke, we made a replay um, just out before we went into the house. Um, because then I can't remember exactly why. Because he spawned on a PCJ or because there's a PCJ near there? But not when you make the replay. You make it before. Oh, uh, right, okay, I didn't know that. So this is, God, he's doing it too fast for me to even explain what's going on. Um, he's got, he's like recruited a gang member or however you call it. And then he's gonna spam enter the, this locked van. But because the, because game silly, he, he can still get in the locked van and then we can just kill him and get in, basically. It's hard to say it fast enough before he can do it. And then we get the skip to work. Basically. Like it can be a little bit tricky. It is very tricky. If you don't know how to do it... It took me a good, like, two or three attempts before I could do it, like, every time. Game silly. Yeah, because... Game silly. You don't need to do the Guitar Hero shit? No. No, you don't. You can just use the gang member, um, and he thinks that you're getting in the car. So he can get in the lock. He can suddenly unlock the car. He's, he's actually... He's actually a mechanic. Yeah, um, and awesome. he, and he just like breaks into the other side of the car, and then you kill him and he leaves the door open really kindly for you, so you can just get in. That tiny hippo, that just means you're a bit too slow. But if you wait, so if you don't shoot him like I did, if you wait like five seconds, he'll get out the car, get back in, and get into the driver's seat. And then you can. And shoot then him after there. that, you have infinite time to shoot him. So you can't be too slow. So if you wait for him to get into the other seat and then shoot you him, you are too you're fast. No you are too slow at being fast, yeah, but, but you can be, between. but you can be slower. <laughs> yeah. But that what I did is just like the fast one, but you've got to be quick. Yeah, I always wait for him to get into the driver's seat because that's like really consistent. I, I would always recommend this. Once he's there, it's very, it's very hard to, well, literally like impossible to mess it up. Actually, I, I did mess it up. Mess it up. Um, if you're standing in the wrong place, yeah. you can like mission fail because you like ruin the party. Um, so you need to make sure you're standing like 
far enough away and also like I always stand like right to the left where that one car I can't remember what kind of car it is the voodoo is because yeah, if you stand straight on which a lot of people do you aim at the DJ but through the yeah, van and, you ruin the and if you aim at anybody at the party it, it uh, so you would aim at a you 45 degree pie. and you'll see that Hi, Hypergrid. Thanks for coming. What you want me to roll with you for anyway? Yeah, that was like fucking 15 no minutes reason. ago. I just wanted to get in the <laughs> it was car. Two minutes ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Just <laughs> home. Just chill. That was yesterday. <laughs> from Mexico. Yeah. Me and her go way back. Way back. Ah, Me trying to remember what happens shit. in this mission. Don't be prejudiced again in my presence, Carl. Go for the fast drive. Usually you get a car and whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Oh, my God, the miss. Holy. It's an LS run, Rob, so yeah. Just LS, even though he's got the wrong splits up. <laughs> well, I don't have LS splits. Just to make it as confusing as possible. You're like, them. read the title, and also the title of your splits says. <laughs> Actually, they can't see that. They can't see that, yeah. so fair enough. No, they can't. Can they? No, they can't. This is a sun Oh, yeah, true. I thought I was looking at the, the, title, is the title. No magic glitches. Actually, gold in that. This is the one where you can't move until they're in the canoe. No. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, uh, last step we going home? Because there's high, something you can do to just move the car before, but I can't remember what it is. You know something, fact, something. You are show it's, uh, for a Come on. G. Uh, aim, G. aim at him. Just yeah, that was it. Like no fool. Now when we get there, I'm gonna seem really smart. Now when we get there, I'm gonna seem really smart. That's funny. Game of the year. Ball is turf. You dog ready? Yeah. Absolutely no exploits. This mission is like, from what I remember, pretty fucking easy and pretty casual. Just run everybody over, shoot everybody, drive by people. Your homies are really accurate. Yeah. Well, you can run over majority of them. Yeah. What you waiting for, CJ? Find us some more ballers so we can cap them. Yeah, I remember when you ran over this last guy, there was something that I. Smash on the car, smash! That's a really awkward script to spawn. Something that you told me to do, but I can't remember what it was. I had it on my notes, like, when you run over the last guy, do this. And I can't remember what it was. Um, it might be a re game you wanted to level up to paint spawn. That's it. Nah, I don't remember. It's been, it's been like... No, I think it was afterwards, make like a replay of the PC, or like do something. It was like something, it was something... I, I could find my notes, actually. It was like... No, I know, it's probably not a replay, but it was like do something like small. This is, this is Let me find my notes. Important. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this cheating? Yeah, Grove is back, man. Grove is back. Yeah, I'm only looking at one thing, yeah. <laughs> My notes is called San Andreas LS Epic Gamer Root. That's fucking cringe. You're down with the Grove and the ball is Um, so watch yourself for that on drive by. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know that. I'll see y'all later. Here, take this. Go get yourself some beers. Drive to the marker. Nice one, Luke. Run over the guys. Once you get to the park, turn around when you have run over it. Oh, it was just... Oh, yeah, that was literally it. Once you've run over a couple, turn the car around and reverse over the other two so that I'm facing the right way. <laughs> that's, what, that's all it was. No replays. Yeah, so, and then you want to... Um, I don't know, I can't really, don't really know what Ben's been doing, but you want to, like, get, get a police bike in your garage although I don't he's like just so you don't have car aim oh yeah I can explain that there's a weird glitch in San Andreas um, 
Well, it makes sense. When when you're in a car, um, the people who are aiming at you, like peds and like enemies and stuff, have better aim. Which makes sense because it makes up for the fact that you're in a car and you're protected by a car, right? But then when you, for some reason, when you get out of the car, that doesn't get reset to how it should be normally, unless, until you get on a bike. So if you drive in a car to any mission, you're just gonna get fucked up even more by all of like the enemies and the peds and people who are shooting at you because you have car aim still, um, which is really stupid. And some missions literally are made so much easier in the speedrun and just by just simply not taking a car there. <laughs> and it's so stupid. So that was an example of Ben getting a bike so that he didn't have car aim. And he almost got blown up there. Yeah, because I fucking flipped <laughs> and a police car spawned immediately around. Inside, baby. Yeah. Man, this set trip is killing the family. I keep forgetting that it's like that things kid. I know hey, isn't things that everyone knows. Hey, like car aim. Because that feels like something that everybody knows. On the bike. Great port. Um, yeah, so... No. You, you wait for the cutscene. I thought you meant to get the police bike in the garage. No. We've already done that. Probably this one. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, did that I looked block, away. On cleaning the hood, I got a cop light. So oh, so you already done it. Okay, because that's for later. In the, we're not even going to need it. We're just doing it for later in the game, which we're not even going to get to. We're just so nice. Yeah, if you skip that cutscene too fast, this bike won't spawn. And this is also like like a little cut through, which is really like just a way of making it a lot faster because you wouldn't think to go that way. You would drive all the massive long way around on the road. And we want to get um, nitrous or whatever it's called here because we're going to use it on the drive. Nitro, that's it. I don't want to call it nitrous. Oh, uh, okay, my bad. And, oh, okay, cool. And then you go over here and you don't flip. Amazing. I flipped like every time there. <laughs> it's a speed run. It's a speed run. No, I know. I'm joking. And then you just go all through the sewer system. And don't miss this turning here. I think because I'm a little bit colorblind and also just generally blind, I always struggle to see that ramp. I always drive past it. Always, all two times. But also just in practice and... <sighs> and then, easy, easy auto-scroller mission. That's like really out of, yeah, the the arrows are like mega out of time with like when you actually put have to put the inputs in. Unless. I can't remember, unless what? Oh yeah, the longer you've been playing for, the more, or is it just your uptime generally on your CPU PC? Up CPU uptime. The, so I guess also the longer you've been playing for, the worse, the more out of time this is, <laughs> which is so funny. For some reason, it uses CPU uptime. Which is so funny. This is a great port, yes. Literally the blind leading the blind. The blind leading the blinder. Oh yeah. Probably already got it, but... Should I sing it instead? I'm not going to do that. Oh, he's paused it. <laughs> oh yeah, if you press escape, I did this and my game crashed. But if you press escape to like um, go onto the pause menu and then come back in, you can suddenly control the car again. So you can do like goofy shit like this while you're doing the mini game. And when you get to a certain score, you also just don't need to worry because the, the opponent only gets to like 1000 and something. So Ben is like, shit. Ben is like completely free. <laughs> yeah, at least make it 4K. Slightly off. Oh, God. I, I was too good. I, got I tried to That's get exactly better. 4, it's like when I'm getting fuel and I get 50 pounds and 1p, yeah. ruins my entire next few weeks until I have to get fuel again. Yeah. 50 pounds well, and 1p. Well, you might not know. On yeah. the Steam version, the left and right arrows are correct, but the up and down are backwards. Or just on the Steam version. Yeah. Weird. On the minigame. 
So you think that your controls are fucked, but only half of them are fucked, so it like gaslights you. Because you can't tell if they're fucked or not, because you're getting some of them right and some of them wrong. Yeah. So it looks like you're just bad, but in reality the game is bugged. Oh, uh, that's yeah. stupid. Great poor. Great poor. <laughs> Never fixed, by the way. Robert just got the same message, like, already t already typed you. out, ready to press enter when, when he needs to. <laughs> yeah. He just got it typed out ready. Game in a decade, by the way. Yep. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Um, is there anything you in the race apart from drive, drive not shit, <laughs> drive good? <laughs> all, all you do at this point. In this the game race is just a casual. This game, this game is just a casual, fast let's play. LS is. Well, it kind of is. Like no, there's, there there's are bits that you do. Stuff. There are bits that you do that are sort of. But once you get like LS and Badlands are kind of casual, but then San Fierro onwards is bonkers. Mm, I need to learn uh, Badlands. Badlands is chill. Very little. Whereas LS is so luck based with the cost. Drive good. Just drive not shit, and then you'll be okay, probably. I mean, all of the races, in, that's how I know the races in San Andreas are piss. Because I am notoriously bad at racing games and races. And every single race in San Andreas, when I played through the whole game casually, I found really easy and came first, first try. Like, as long as you don't crash, even then I crashed like a couple of times in some of them. As long as, long as you don't crash more than like three times, you... It's not. It's not even close. It's not even close. What was the game where you have like all your tires popped and it's also snow or physics? That's uh, or rain physics or something. It's uh, Titan Dress. Oh, that's Titan Dress. <laughs> but they got rid of the rain because it was too fucking. I was hard. gonna say that was that was. Uh, I was gonna be like that was bullshit, and then Rob's like, um. Now you start with I'm four in the chat. Tires, but it's sunny. And there's no traffic, Oops. so it's it's literally skill. But yeah. it's still a really hard mission. Yeah. But yeah, the traffic just made it look base. So I remember fun. editing that. <sighs> <sighs> yep, just completely box me in. You know what's really satisfying about doing your editing? Like, the amount of times I'll come home from work and I come in and you're doing something, like, completely random and I'm like, what the fuck? And then, like, a month later, I That's watch the it. video and I finally get the context for what I, what I saw a month ago and I'm like, oh, that's why you were screaming. And then I come into bed and I'm like, remember that thing a month ago? And he's like, no. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm so far behind. <laughs> but it's satisfying. This is probably the mission that's, like, the most different to casual versus... Like, oh, yeah, this this mission's fun. This is where I learned how to slide. Um, I don't even remember exactly what you have to press. I just remember that it's, like, it's like shift something and something else, and you have to be holding a weapon. It's like, shift aim something or something. I don't remember. You have to press, like, three buttons. Yeah, it's crouch, shift, aim. Crouch, shift, aim. I was... I got two of them. Shift, aim, crouch. Crouch, aim, shift, aim. <laughs> Thanks for the happy... Um, and then you just basically like slide past people and it's, it's great. And there's like certain places that you run getting there so that they can't. Getting to the bit, hard bit. Yeah, so, the, the first bit you just go through, yeah. But this is like, I'm dying. Yeah. Once I learned how to, this mission I used, oh Jesus. I used to not, not like this mission. So yeah, you can just basically just run through here and jump over this corner. I remember doing this. Um, yeah, I can. This guy can mega fuck you up, but you just need to try and just like sprint past him and jump past him. And then if you run on the on the left hand side of these uh, like cushions, the guy on the bar doesn't aggro to you. And neither do these guys said Ben, but they always aggro to me. He, he managed to not get them to aggro, but they always aggro to me. It literally is a skill issue because Ben- Oh, I've had it muted ever since fucking- For some reason there's no sound, he says. <laughs> I, I had it muted. Nobody said anything. I forgot I, to unmute I it. I've had it muted for several missions. There's no sound for me either. No, no but like, <laughs> the fucking stream's been no, sad, I know. you know. Um, and then there's this, these two guys here. Uh, oh, no, he already went past them. 
There's a guy that's lethal, but you spray him. But you'd already did it. YouTube, I'm so sorry, because at least the stream had music. It's alright, I'll edit it out. YouTube is just sad. <laughs> sorry, I I'll, I'll put some music on. <laughs> or unless you mean the VOD channel, in which yeah, case, VOD rip. Channel. Rip rip to the VOD channel, but the real ones who watch my edited content, they had some, like, I don't know, some something. You either had a harsh cut to here and you're wondering why it's cut, <laughs> or... <laughs> Yeah, he used that PCJ uh, replay again so he can get them to spawn because I don't know if I if I mentioned when you have a replay if you play it it causes I can't I can't remember exactly why I feel like there's something something along the lines of the game can only like load in so many models of different things at a certain time or something like that when you when when you play a replay that model becomes like 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 when you get into a taxi and you start seeing loads of taxis and when you get into a I don't know. Fucking voodoo, you see loads of voodoo, voodoos. When you play a PCJ rampage, uh, re rampage <laughs> replay, suddenly you start seeing loads of them. And my only logic is that because the game, because the game has already spawned in one, so it just keeps spawning in more of them. Am I, am I, am I like 80% correct? You're, you're like dancing around <laughs> okay. the correct answer. Okay. The simple answer. Is it loads in the model, right? Because the important yeah, it loads in the model. I feel like I said that, but in my yes, in my words. Yes, let me Sorry. say it in my words. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. So replays aren't actually replays. They just yeah, it spawns in the actual happened. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it like actually is... teleports you to where you were, and it actually spawns in the thing. Yeah. Yes. So then it spawned in a, a PCJ. A PCJ. And that model is now loaded. Yeah. And when the traffic generation like script is, is happening, it will prioritize stuff that's already loaded. Already loaded. loaded. That's basically what I meant. I feel I feel like I was basically there. Yeah, you were basically there. Yeah. Because it's loaded in a PCJ already. Yeah. Like same way when you're in a taxi, it's already loaded in a taxi. Yes. So it's easier for the game to load in more PCJs or more taxis. Yeah because it's already loaded in one, rather than it having to go through the whole catalogue of however many you collected all of them, and like pick more and load in more. It's just, it's hard to like explain that in like fucking... Uh, yeah, there you can like slightly push that first car a little bit there to be a tiny bit faster, I didn't mention that. And then here, um, you can just drive down this alley coming on the right you drive you down here and then you can just about? fucking bail out of the car and throw it in the water and rather than driving so all the way down to the uh, docks or the pier or whatever it's called where, where it wants you to go why can it land down there or something no um like 50 percent of the time when you bail out you can get spotted by the drivers even though they're no way oh <laughs> jesus because they have like wall hacks and they can spot you through the fucking all. And then you've got to kill them before the mission will pass. Mm. So you've got to wait for them to come to you. Game more likely to use model it loaded since it's stored in its memory. That is probably a better way of wording it than what we both said. Get your shit out of my way. Okay. Uh, you said something about. I mean, I can't fucking remember. That was like 10 years ago. Simple answer is. What Hifig said. It's an algorithm said. that prioritizes already loaded in stuff because there's no point in loading new models with new yeah. stuff that's already loaded. Yeah, so game more likely like, to use like model that's already. Feature. Yeah. It's, and... it's more likely to use something it's already loaded in. Yeah. As simple as that. Yeah. That's how I'll word it. Yeah, that is it. Simple. <sighs> Burning desire. You know, this one is so annoying because fucking. I forgot what her name is. Denise, I'd say Diana. Just will not follow you. She will just get caught on absolutely fucking everything. And she makes me she makes me so annoyed. Um I wasn't actually paying attention, no, why did she get the cup cry? Okay. okay. In home invasion. Well in this mission. So right now the only gun weapon I can slide with is a spray gun. Mm -hmm. That's why I did it in my head, right? But then yeah. this, I'm gonna get the fire extinguisher which overrides it, so now I have no weapon I can slide with. 
unless I get a shotgun from the. Uh, okay. So I can slide them. I can use that on her invasion. <laughs> this is a mission that's much better than a bike. If you can get one. Guess why? Guess why? Guess why? No, I'm asking them to guess why. <laughs> Because car I aim. A phone call, so if I had taken the police bike, I would have got a star and not been able to get the call. Does is uh, car aim only a thing in this port? It's a PC port. It's a PC port thing. And a DE thing. That's stupid. It exists in on all platforms. In That's funny. And not only the best part about DE, I don't know if you know. Much about <clears> not in really. DE, it's always car aim. You can't fix it. Oh, hey, what really? Yeah. The way they fixed it, the bug, was to make it so it's always car aim. Jesus. So if you watch, like, and if you Google right now, <laughs> if any of you, go, go on YouTube right now, and you look uh. up any casual playthrough of somebody playing GTA for the first time, and it's DE, watch them do Amphibious Assault in SA, because you spawn in, and you immediately get fucking wrecked yeah. by a load of guys with really big guns, and they all, Lit. like, die immediately. In my first playthrough of SA, I got, like, really stuck when I got towards, like, uh, some of the Las Venturas missions. And then Ben said, like, do you want me to tell you a sort of spoiler? And I was like, why? And he was like, because I, it will make the game a lot easier for you. And I was like, wait, why? And then he told me about car aim. Yeah. Because there were so many missions that I was playing, yeah. not intentionally. That's not how the game is supposed to be experienced. It's literally a bug. Yeah. But like, if you're playing on the Steam version, or not, I wasn't. Oh yeah, I was playing on the Steam version. Yeah. Um, then you're always if you if you oh, get in a car yeah. and you don't usually drive bikes around. Like I usually drive cars around because in lots of the missions it starts you with a car. Then you're all the missions are just harder, yeah. <laughs> and it's so dumb. Yeah, when, when she gets to that sofa, match, you can... I wanted you to have the actual experience. Run out. Because it's not fair for you to make up your mind about a game, playing a modified oh, version that makes it Yeah, no, I know. And I, I wanted to just play it, like, I thought it was just the normal way. I didn't know, because I, I asked Ben, for, obviously I didn't want any spoilers. But then I was really struggling on some of the missions, and Ben was like, yeah, you are playing on hard mode, basically, because you're playing with... You've been playing, like, the last two-thirds of the game with car aim. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was a del deliberate choice, Rob, because I wanted Liv to have the actual experience of how the game actually okay. Yeah. So she can form an actual opinion shit. about the actual game. And then I still finished the rest of the game with Power Aim, yeah, apart from a couple of missions I got a bike. Denise, but I never Denise got Silent Patch. Give me a call sometime. We should go out or something. Yeah, Generally like to that. everyone, yeah. I mean, if I'd have known about it, if I could go back and replay through the for the first time, I probably would want okay, to later, play it. With Silent Patch, because it, it, it got so annoying. Her opinion of the game because of Maybe. Like, artificial and the devs didn't like, that's not fair. Yeah, because I started to really hate, like, I really liked San Fierro. I didn't like Badlands, but I loved LS and I loved San Fierro. Well, I don't know about love, but I liked San Fierro. And then after that, LS, uh, LS, LV, and especially uh, the final section when you go back to Los Santos was awful i hated that part of the game i could have finished it in san fierro and i'd have been happy once i did zero's mission it was over or it's missions mission, uh, this is the one where you go on a unicycle or whatever the fuck a, what's it called a two, a two tandem bike a unicycle Oh god, I'm so obsessed with Titan Dreyas. Oh my god. But is that Titan? Oh, is that Talent? That's not Talent. So you can uh, completely exploit this mission. You know how this mission's hard casually? Well, you can just drive up here and you can just plunk yourself in this place right up on the top and just drive onto the train. <laughs> so Ben's just going to drive on top of the train. Um, and it is a little, it, it can be a little bit tricky. But when you're actually on the train like this, then you can shoot them as well as Big Smoke, because Big Smoke's shit. You can actually shoot them, and then that's it. GG. <laughs> GG. Hard mission. Hard mission. Was it always like this? Was it always like this? When I first saw that, I was like, what? <laughs> what? I've been doing this mission for hours. No, it wasn't hours. I did it casually, though, without getting on the train. It just took me, it took me like almost an hour and a half.
plane. That was quite fast, actually. Because you, like, landed on the fucking first guy. This bet not be another cop, Aaron, man. And the important thing no, is fall off your bike, though. For the home. Yeah. A lot of time you fall off your bike and have to get smoked again. Some heavy shit. Yeah. What you went to, smoke? Lot of shit about to go down, I want to do a LS run. Like, even if it's shit time, just to submit something, because I had to load a save on my last one. I didn't even have to, I just chose to, because I, I couldn't be bothered to do the mission again. So I just like, loaded a save. At least Liv can't stop thinking about it. I'm actually so obsessed with Titan Drea. It just shows that it's good, Rob, because a lot of the missions are memorable. They're very memorable changes. Actually, does that mean it's good? Memorable doesn't always mean good. You can be memorable, you can be memorable and bad. Like, Hardwind is memorable. Fastest boat in Hardwind, I will never forget. There's, there's, a, there's a, like, a tier of Just to bring you back down to Earth, Rob. <laughs> there's a tier of it. It's, both, it's good to be remembered for the right reasons. Yeah. Then the second best thing is to be remembered for the wrong reasons. The worst thing is to be forgotten. Yeah. Right? If you're just boring and forgettable, that's the worst thing. The play missions suck. If you're on about the, uh, driving. I, I mean, I always think when people say play mission, they're on about flying school. I usually assume it's flying school. Okay, I'm never mind. Flight school, yeah. Exactly. I know exactly what you mean. It made me stop playing for a little bit, but then I carried on because Ben said something along the lines of, are you really gonna quit? And probably like, called me a pussy or something. I know I said that last time. The game just doesn't expect you to be looking that way, I guess. Hold on though, I got an idea. Smoke, what you thinking? Flood control is a dead end, man. The hell with that? We had to lose those cars. Don't worry about that. I know a way out. Up past Grove Street. The old sewer tunnel. Oh man. Watch out back. Smoke is more bikes. <sighs> this mission is also just very casual. I think you might shoot the cars maybe to get skill but i don't even know that you do that in this mission when you do it in some of them yeah you, you can get uh gangsters yes. oh shit now the truck yeah the that's just like that it happens, so that happens. it happens anyway yeah such as we ain't dead oh, and your trigger finger still works oh, cool. i think yeah. it just got screwed up on this thing i can't get no speed yeah who negative now bitch Point i wonder when i played casually what skill level i got to on my guns and stuff I don't know if I still have my first save. I think I do still have my first save. You can always tell how long the first playthrough was based on the health bar. Over, over time, yeah. yeah. I played for quite a while. Like, I did a lot when I was streaming. I did a lot of just, like, messing about in the gym and stuff yeah. like that. Like, I was just... played for a while. But it's not... I don't know. We still got bikes Maybe, like, on us, man. 25 hours. Like that. It's a huge, him, huge amount of time. Um, I remember that you don't need to shoot after a certain point. I think it might be now. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it, yeah, because it skips a line if you. Oh, he says di there's different dialogue. If you don't shoot this gate. Oh, why is it better if you don't do it then? Because if you touch the camera now, you can be spawning in the garage. So you don't touch the camera and see them. I don't know that. I don't have that on my notes. Yeah, I do. But I, I... We lost them, Smoke. Man, we better split up. I'll take it another block and dump it. Man, that was some crazy shit back there. Yeah, for sure. Listen, we can't hang around here. I'll see you later, homie. When you hit the big explosion cutscene, don't touch anything. Yep. You, don't, you don't need to break the gate. But I don't think that meant... Don't, I thought it just meant like I don't need to shoot anything. Uh, turn right as you pass the mission and go into the multi-story and there is an NRG first floor. 
Oh, and then you get the grenades. You stand on the bike here and you jump. Um, and you can get the grenades that are on the floor above through the floor. Because game good. And you can tell when you get it because you hear the little... You hear the little thing and Ben's being a bit of shit. I can't hear it, but I, the reason <laughs> I'm unarmed... Oh yeah, and then if, if you're unarmed then it obviously equips the... Stop talking over me! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And then you gotta lean back and you can go over there. <laughs> Get it? Because it feels by C. It's actually so funny that in uh, in Titan Vice, you just can't do that trick where you lean back. All these missions just blend into one, I don't know. All these missions feel like just drive to one place, run over or shoot somebody, drive back to Grove Street, <laughs> drive to place, protect Grove Street, get fucking one territory, gang territory tutorial. Oh, is that Doberman? Uh, like, just silly. Ammunition tutorial, gang territory tutorial. Hmm, I wonder how many of these we'll have to do later on in the game. <laughs> Surely not many. What accents do you have? Accents? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, I thought it meant like, what accents can I do? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I have a normal accent and Ben has a disgusting northern accent. But I'm from Birmingham, which is notoriously the best place in, in England. I was going to say the UK and then I didn't want to go that far. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thing is, I could have escaped all of this because I'm not actually from like Birmingham, Birmingham. I'm just from near Birmingham. But I, I always say Birmingham because no one knows the place that I'm actually from. And I get so much shit for it. But I've said it for so long now, I can't, I can't take it back. But one of my really close friends who live, who grew up in the same place as me, she tells everyone that she's from Leicester and everyone goes, oh, Leicester, that's nice. No one ever goes like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she's literally from the same yeah. place as me. Yeah, she's smart. Why would you have to She's from the same fun. place as me. And she's like, oh, I'm from Leicester. And everyone goes, oh, Leicester, nice. Mm -hmm. And I go, I'm from Birmingham. And everyone goes, that's disgusting. Yeah. And we're literally like, we live, our parents' houses are like 10 minutes from each other. Yeah. Are you smart, you're not? I don't know. Yes, We're closer to Birmingham than we are to left. Ah, that's not true. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm glad you say it's easy to understand because someone really hurt my feelings um, <laughs> when, when we were doing the Vice City run because they were like, I really, I always really can understand you, Ben, but I'm really struggling to understand Liv. And I was like, fair enough, I have a bad accent, but you struggle to understand? To be fair, sometimes I don't, um, what's the word, enunciate myself very well. Like, I mumble. I mumble a lot. And Brummies don't say tease. They tough, too. I do say. I think that's the worst Brummie thing. Yeah, I do, I do say tough. Tough, tough brush. Tough paste. That's tough so paste. Bad. Why would you say No, that? I don't say tough paste, I say toothpaste. I say tough brush. That's so stupid. You doesn't sound Birmingham. I absolutely can't understand Birmingham. <laughs> yes. No, that's my attention span because I can't watch it 2x when she's on. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Oh my god. He's fucking done you there. I do. I, do, I know that I mumble. And also, Ben, when I edit you, I realise that you talk quite, Ben naturally talks quite slowly. He talks like this and he really says all of his words. But when he's, when he, when I put it on two times speed, he sounds like me talking normally. You're like, okay, so here we're going to this mission. And then you speed it up and it's like, we're going to this mission. And like, you can perfectly understand it. I just talk fast. I have a lot to say. I have to talk fast before Ben interrupts me so I can make sure I get enough in, enough in as as just a woman before the men start speaking again and they talk over me. 
I I have to I have to speak really fast. It makes Ben very nice to listen to. All right, you don't need to rub it in that my voice is so shit and my commentary is so bad. <laughs> hi, Julian. I don't know if I already said hi to you, but hi again. The Brummie accent genuinely puts me to sleep and you don't, so your accent isn't strong at all. No, my, I feel like I should slow down. My, <laughs> my accent has got better over time because I went to uni with a load of people from London and then my accent just slowly went away and now I live up in Yorkshire and my accent sometimes depending on who I'm talking to goes a little bit a little bit northern it is true that girls do usually talk faster I don't know why that is like obviously higher pitch and faster usually <laughs> he has to talk so because a lot of us in his chat are borderline develop <laughs> developmentally <laughs> developmentally challenged. That's funny. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this mission. So this mission is made really easy by having the bike because you can literally just drive through. Usually, obviously, you have to slowly pick up all these guys, but the bike. You can't get up the stairs. Oh, you still can't. I managed to. Yeah, you did it. Oh, I thought I thought you meant with a pop tire. Um, but yeah, you can just like, because the, the, the bike takes all of your damage, so you can just go through there, which is really nice. And then you can just run over this guy. Easy. Birmingham in London, I'm, I really am so sorry. I didn't actually go to uni in London, but just at university, you tend to find a lot of people from London go to uni. Um, because there's a lot of people from London and also a lot of very rich people from London who mummy and daddy pay for them to go to university. Like it is true that at university, there is a big majority of people from London. Yeah, and because they're all trying to escape, true. But mummy and daddy pay for them to go to university. But also there are a lot, London is a place of a lot of opportunity and a lot of amazing schools. And if you look at like education, like how well educated areas are, London is very well educated. Um, because there are really good schools in that area. Like a lot of people from London do go to university. It just is true. So we can shit on London all we want, but London is literally where a lot of opportunity is. Do you guys pay for unis? Oh, <laughs> we will. Yes, we pay for uni. Unless you get like a scholarship or like most people don't pay for PhDs. But you do pay for your undergraduate and for postgrad masters. But most PhDs are funded. That's for like the one. Yeah, scholarship. Funded PhD is a majority. No, but most people have a degree. Don't have a PhD. Oh yeah. Keep it coming, <laughs> DJ. I I will most likely be getting a PhD. Yeah, yeah for sliding. Yeah, and then you don't make any noise, even though you're going fast as fuck. <laughs> You're a natural housebreaker, homie. Let's get up out of here. All is just business and very important. <laughs> also, rather quite a good one. Good. Submit it. <laughs> Do you have an LS run submitted? Okay, but you're, you're encouraging me to do segments. Because you think that I'm Ben. No, because you don't want to. I'm on it. I didn't want to. I just. I don't know when I'm ever gonna be able to sit and play San Andreas for six or oh, probably eight hours. One day you gonna wish you hadn't pissed me off. And, and it's not like it's just a one-off. It'd be something that I would do often. When when do I have eight hours in between working two jobs? Like fair enough, people who can who do have that kind of time, but I just don't. I just don't. You see, I told yeah. you. Simple. 
Yeah, that was I mean, real real But you said I don't want to, but I do want to. You have said to me before that you don't want to. It that this is everyday shit, it's more that I can't. What kind of PhD do you want to do? I assume you're talking to me. Is anybody else talking about PhDs? It's, it's kind of cringe if I respond to a question that wasn't for me. Yeah, the whole world's over, over you. But so. I um, want to go into clinical science. So most likely clinical okay, embryology. Look, so I'm looking to do a master's in I clinical know. science. And I'll do my paper on uh, clinical embryology and then some kind of PhD related to that. But I'll see when I get there because I'm still looking to do my masters starting next year. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going into IVF and helping people have babies that want babies and can't have babies, and then I'm gonna come home and Ben's gonna be like, "Ah, oh, fucking babies!" <laughs> <laughs> Tier three today, love. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the best, the best ever. Like it does sound really like awesome, but then when you actually think about what the day today is of what I'll be doing, I'll be sitting in a lab with goggles over my glasses and a lab coat on, putting one thing from one tube into another tube. It's very like factory, factory working. It's not actually as like like. It is very cool, but. It's also very uh, tedious work, but you know you're doing it to potentially change somebody's whole life. You're never going out of business. There's always going to be babies, and that's the thing. There's always going to be babies, and also at the minute there's a shortage of women in STEM. So if there are any women out there watching this, if there are any women in the stream, all one of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go do it. Be a woman in STEM. Do it. Three you golded it. Golded home invasion as well. <laughs> Turn off this stream <laughs> and go read a book and then be a woman in STEM with me. <laughs> Just making everyone turn off your stream. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so um, supportive of you <laughs> and what you need to do. We were all babies at one point too, yeah. Can, can confirm, was baby. You love to give a homie a hard time. A friend works for a company that does clinical studies. He's in diabetes department. His PhD is all about pharmaceuticals. There's lots of money in pharmaceuticals. Every single none of the women in this, this stream just left. That's funny. Rob, I would put money. I would bet at least 50p that you were a baby at some point in your life. I'm willing to take that bet. <clears throat> Damn, what is that? Chill out, fool. Oh. <laughs> Rob, my game's broken hill. Rob, when I open up Chrome, it's not doing the thing that I want. It's like, I'm not your fucking <laughs> I go to IT guy. Keep them coming. You're like, when I boot up this game, it's really laggy. <laughs> Help. Also, me literally been to Rob before when other mods don't work. The yeah, I know you have. Really I know you have. He helped. He I fixed know. it within like 10 minutes. I know. I knew I went to the right guy. Ben always sings your praises, Rob. He's like, look, Rob's helping me with this thing. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really uh, commentating anymore. It's kind of what happened. Yeah, I, just... like yeah, I don't fucking know what's going on. Pain spray tutorial. We all we all care. We just care about the fact that we were all babies once more. Rob my tummy aches. Go into STEM. <laughs> you can figure out why your tummy why aches your tummy and how to stop yeah, it from ever happening again. Go into like in, in, in into like digestion. Like gastrophysics or whatever. Yeah. Become a Okay, later then. Become a 
to meet oh, ache specialist oh, oh, and that'll be on your that'll be on your that'll be on your badge to meet ache specialist and then when when you come up to people you can have a catchphrase you know people go like my tummy hurt you walk up to them and go like tummy hurt and then they go yeah and then you're like you're in the right place, come with me. And you go into the office and there's just posters everywhere of like people clutching their, <laughs> clutching their stomach. Th this you? Help. <laughs> Text her to you. Text her me to the five five five. Good shit. Oh, this mission is horrible. I hate this mission. It's very AIDS, but you can do it. Also, getting onto this uh, bridge, I couldn't figure out how to get onto it for the first couple of times doing this casually. Because would you believe I failed it the first time? Because I think I ran over Ryder with the forklift. Classic. I say classic. Classic, classic never terrible. happened. I was like pissing about on stream. I'm pretty sure I either ran him over or I shot him in the head. Something like that. You can also bend just, uh, there's a keypad that you're supposed to shoot and Ben just like knifed it through the wall. Oh, he's AI man manipping, so they aren't shooting him. I, can't, I don't know how he's done that. I didn't see him use a replay or anything. I think, oh, because he, because you blew up the uh, keypad, isn't it? And kill the guard at the same time. Okay, homie, let's move this shit up. Yeah, and you, you can make this really easy by picking up two boxes at once and then you can just like, as you see Ben doing, put in like one at a time. It's very epic. Shit. I think this forklift shit. handles really weird, but Ben doesn't agree with me. Like when, I, when I was playing it the first time, at least you never said you have, I think the forklift handles really weird. Oh, no, it like it just it feels, it well feels well. janky. Yeah. And when I, whenever I'm trying to like line up, it feels like it moves like very, like, it's either too responsive or not responsive enough, I can't remember because I'm not it's playing right now. Oh, is that what it is? Like, feels like really weird, it's like really weird to drive. Uh, Come on, CJ. CJ is forklift certified. CJ, get up for Any time women in chat, CJ. go get forklift certified. I bet there's a, I bet there's a shortage of women doing oh, shit like that. If I was a stronger woman, I would have gone into something like that just to be, just to be like, yeah. Yeah, I build houses. Yeah, yesterday I built a house. That's fucking cool. Screw saving lives. You can fucking give people their gaming rooms. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh my god, he did it. He landed it. Did you... <laughs> can I be a forklift scientist? Of course you can, sweetie. Can you really not listen to me on two times speed? Bro, stuck rent free. In That's your literally so rent free. Like, fair enough. I'm, Four a.m. Fair up. enough. I'm a, I'm a disgusting no brummy. But can you really not listen to me at two times speed? That shit was. You flick your camera immediately here before the mission passes to them. I remember that. Damn. Who cares about babies? Think about real estate. True. In fact, you think you'd use a forklift to build a house explains why you didn't go into that field. <laughs> you might need a forklift to like lift up the bricks. The pallet of bricks. Isn't a forklift just the same thing as the other ones? Oh yeah, here you aim at sweet to spook him and then the car will move. Or, he, or you soft lock yourself. And then you can move before oh, Sweet gets in. Although it didn't look like it even worked. Yeah. Oh, he just doesn't get in. <laughs> he's like, he's fuck you then. Fuck, <laughs> fuck this. I said that to Ben one time because he wouldn't cuddle me at like 3 a.m. And I was like, fuck this. And I rolled over. And now whenever Ben says fuck this, I remember like my absolute fury at something so small. And Ben was just absolutely pissing himself. And like the fuck this. <laughs> So, I was so angry. <laughs> Fuck this. 
Because so good, thanks. <laughs> Such a massive overreaction. Oh, for you, it's pretty for me that, for me that's that's quite. I'm usually quite dramatic, but shouting "fuck this" because you won't cuddle me is. Uh... <laughs> Shut up. Fuck this. Get forklift certified to deliver babies. The only person Ben fears is Liv. I feel like there's a, Ben doesn't. I feel like a little part of Ben fears me, only because, not because I could do any damage to you, but because at any time I could just tickle him, and he, and I know exactly where you don't like being tickled. And that's his only weakness, really. Y'all take a position and wait for Kane. I'll, I'll leak where you, where you hate being tickled, so random strangers at events can come and <laughs> fucking tickle you. That's so weird. His bum hole, yeah. Jesus Christ. I now he likes it he too much. She's here more than Ira. Can you imagine a bunch of like fucking dudes just like running over to you and like tickling you? Dude? And then you can just run over Jimmy or whatever the fuck this guy's called. He's fucking He's gone. I'm Paul, absolutely fucking This is this is gonna be a fucking indigo rather than a gold. I, just, I thought of the other side of the colour spectrum. <laughs> this is going to be an indigo for sure. Also, contrary to my belief, you don't have to wait for those uh, gang members to get back in the car. Because I waited for them when I played this these guys are right here. casually. No idea. Aww. You're in a relationship that is a massive vulnerability and that is beautiful. That's really cute. It's just a really cute way of saying it. Yes, you have to leave the homies. Are you okay? Are you okay? You have to leave. Oh, I get it, because I like, leave. I didn't get the joke. I thought you were having a stroke. Rolex, I thought you were having a stroke. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not reading that out. I'm not reading that out. Your chat is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> there are some things that should be inside thoughts. <laughs> That's an inside thought. That one should have been typed out and then just deleted immediately. Man, we was a force back <laughs> Save it for the Everybody draft. Go home, stay low. We ain't seen each other all day. Copy. Lib is lib. <laughs> it's okay. I can read out anything because if people, the people watching at two times speed can't understand me anyway. Lib <laughs> can't handle the truth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh god. Hey, CJ, you crash the car again? Fuck you, Absolutely scandalous. Oh wait, Alex. Would it be okay if I adopted a child at two? So I could avoid clinic and baby equipment costs. I mean, yeah, of course it's okay to adopt a child. No, sorry. Like, what do you as mean? Soon as, like, as soon as they're born, <laughs> you can't adopt them anymore. You have to adopt them before they're born. It's, it's actually better to adopt children a bit older because the most uh, obviously We're commonly adopted children are like newborns because everyone wants like a newborn, go, go, go. a newborn baby as they're adopted. No one wants to, well, not no one, but you know what I mean? Like, less people want to have older children. But I've always said, I'm gonna adopt a kid that's like a month off turning 18. They haven't got to look after them for a month. And then they start paying and then bills. They owe me for a lifetime. Get them down the fucking mines. They would just Do hate you. Work. They would just hate you. Yeah, I don't give a fuck if they hate me. Do some fucking work. People in this chat have never seen Tracy Beaker in his show. True. <laughs> I forgot Tracy Beaker existed. Also, uh, uh, look away in the morning. Oh yeah, look away now because it's gonna flash a lot. 
screen is now no longer flashing, you are safe. But they can't understand me, they just heard <laughs> and they were like, oh god, why is it flashing? <laughs> why did no one tell me? <laughs> you know the funniest thing about Tracy Beaker? I don't a know. random, a random memory that I just unlocked. Yeah. Right? There's a kid there called LOL. I don't know if you remember the cast of characters. There is a kid, there's a boy Tracy in Baker. Tracy Beaker, a funny character called LOL. And when I used to play RuneScape, right? Because back when I was watching Tracy Beaker, it's back when I was playing RuneScape. And whenever I saw people type LOL, I thought they were just talking to their friend called LOL. I didn't know what LOL meant. I didn't know that LOL meant not that LOL. And I used to think, wow, there are so many people on RuneScape called LOL. But in my real life, I've never met anybody called LOL. And I used to be genuinely confused by that. Because why the fuck would you call your kid LOL? But they did in Trace Beaker for some reason. That's crazy. His name was LOL. That's crazy, like, dude. Like, LOL. Why would they do that? Wow. Hi, MZ. Donuts. Okay. <laughs> Great to hear that retardation is curable. No, it's not. Trust me. No offense towards your colleague. Watching you play at SA is so much more satisfactory than watching Josh, who is mostly messing up. Sorry if it's too much, but it is true. Yeah, I agree. Josh is fucking garbage. <laughs> that is an instant VIP. <laughs> Tier one's up to lol RuneScape, man. There's so many of them. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Julian said, adopt a child for a month, teach them how to play GTA, release to the wild. <laughs> Which age range is child raised as cheapest? Like, why is there everyone just like a cheap? Well, a child for the cheapest possible. I mean, the cheapest way is to just have it yourself, right? Oh, wait, but to raise them, right? Kidna but you still have to feed them. I mean, oh, shit, yeah. bro, you really head. committed a crime. You may as well stop. Them. Depending, <laughs> depending on how good of a parent you want to be. This is around. But like at 17, do they even have to like be adopted? They don't want to be. If like basically 18. If I adopt someone, they do as I fucking oh, tell. But I don't think they have. They don't have to go. Yes, After like a certain age, they don't have to go. If I adopt, they get beaten. I don't know. I beat them in the orphanage right there in front of their fucking... In, front of their in Tracy Beaker, if, if if she if someone wants to adopt her and she's like, no, nah, I don't want to go there, she doesn't have to go there. She knows what she's saying. If you get to 17, you're just like, oh, uh, fuck this. Shit. Fuck but this. let's be real, you wouldn't <laughs> want to be adopted in a fucking... Like, Damn, an orphanage. Or you would want to be adopted. Oh, no, my dad was in an orphanage for like all of his childhood up until I was like 18. We'll meet up later. And he like really liked it. He had friends there. He had like a good life there. He always talks about like how nice it was there because there was. <laughs> it was like a nice time there. Like they used to. Every, they, they had like traditions like on Friday nights they'd have like chippy and on weekends they'd do this and da da da. Maybe nobody wanted to probably. <laughs> I mean, it was. Yeah. It is all you'd know true, but like when you hear about it, it doesn't sound as awful as other people's experience. Like I feel like it could have been a lot Apart worse. Apart from the whole no parents thing. Apart from having no parents, it was great. Not exactly. Like it's not... I don't know. It's almost over. Yeah, I'm gonna start the game. It's lame, the pain turns up. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get it. I learned the pain is in Tracy Beaker. Uh. I feel like living in a place like that is like having like 15 brothers and sisters. Like it's probably like yeah. having, having to share every, you know, like sharing, you have to share with your three sisters. Imagine that, but sharing with like 20 people. But like, like people are saying, like it's, it's all you know. So you're not going to be like, oh God, this is horrible because it's just, 
It's, it's just your life. Yeah. Then got out, and then he got out again. Did you see that? Oh my god. Fucking crazy, dude. Sorry, man. I also did park in the marker there because if you, you get stuck for like three seconds. I got a war crazy. That's fucking crazy, dude. Sorry, I'm being really mean. Should have cuddled me that one time. Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh my god. You had a liar, dude. Now who the then you just kill these, so you don't, you don't want to miss him the first four times. Um, and this guy's well, you want to miss him quite a lot of times. Because if you don't, you actually can soft block here. The guy behind you want to completely ignore. Um. <laughs> oh, check this. I thought you were gonna like snipe them with the grenades, they went fast. Those guys went fucking flying. Yeah. GG? It's over. Gold is really the farmies as well. It's fucking clean. It's yeah. Gold is like half the squad. Yeah. I don't know why CJ surrenders there to two cop cars. You definitely could get away from them. Or three. Well, no, but if he leaves that sweet dies. Oh, yeah. Read a fucking book. <laughs> watch a cutscene. <laughs> I don't watch cutscenes. So, Liv, which one of the three games do you like best? Um, Obviously, Vice City. Vice City was objectively the best one because the game is the best one. The run is the most interesting, but not too complicated. And I know, like, almost everything about it. So the commentary was the best. <laughs> No, ge genuinely, genuinely it's my favourite one, and I think it was the best one. I can't believe your subathon is over. That's crazy, it's been a whole week since his birthday. You've done three different commentary runs. You've done all of GTA 5, who's in GTA 4. All of San Andreas, like twice, all of You've done San, like San Andreas times. several times, you did that shuffler. All of Titan We Andreas. did two player, one controller. Yeah. We did Marbles Cooking Marbles Cooking Stream. Yeah, boxing. Mm. There's been so much content. Yeah. So much content. We'll have to do another one at some point. Yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah. Sure. Summathon two starts Start tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna keep paying. <laughs> yeah, ben needs a day off. I do. If That's Ben if Ben even thinks about putting his stream on tomorrow, I want everybody to scream at him to turn it off. <laughs> Because he he will pass away. Right. Do you want me to leave you alone to do your um? No, it's fine. You can do it if you want. Be, be sure to smash that like button. Um, this is for YouTube. <laughs> What's it that Josh says? Hi YouTube. <laughs> I'm Josh Russell. I've been speedrunning this game for ten years. <laughs> is that his intro? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, only here for marbles. Yeah, it's sad that it's sad that we can't do marbles. But you would literally the, the person that gets VIP would be like VIP, and then like only turns the stream off. Okay, are, are you okay. just gonna un VIP everyone once you turn the stream off? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed your VIP badges. Those of you that got them. Yeah, we're not doing marbles. Winner and loser get banned. True. <laughs> Anyone who participates gets fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I will say, so well, the last thing I will say before we go is one big final thank you to everyone that supported. Um, when I first started the subathon, I didn't... Ex Can you shut the fuck up? I'm Sorry, very tall. I was just screaming with you. Oh, yeah, the people on the wall as well. Whoa. Big shout out to them. Double shout out to them. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll actually give you a, a rundown. Gallardo, Tom Pinks, Enzio... Uh, what is that? I can't read my own writing. <laughs> Firmly, Red Leicester... Uh, Liv, you're on there as well. Digglebury yes. Surprise, Riggy, Anonymous, Elias, Style, Lord Mouse, uh, Azzy, Cello, Fladge, Ugu, Zero, PHP, Connors, Joshua Moose, Kai, Shady Weaver, <laughs> Josh, I've got written on twice for some reason. I was loving that much. Loki, Mr. R. Speedy, 
and uh, Pen Fox as well, who gifted tier three subs, but I didn't put them on the wall because I forgot. I'm sorry, Pen Fox, but I'm giving you a shout out now because I didn't forget. That's the important thing. Um, but yes, thank you to everyone, um, everyone who supported, not just those people there, but you know those people more than you because they supported more than you did, so I like them more. But thank you to everyone that supported. Um, I did not think that we would get even close to 5,500 points. I thought we would get to like two or 300 and the stream would last like two days. I did not expect to have to cut it short because of like physical health more than anything. But we will definitely do another one of these at some point. We will definitely do another subathon at some point. I don't know exactly when. Maybe it'll be for my next year's birthday. Maybe it'll be for a different time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate you all being here, of course. Um, is there a final list of the biggest subathon simps? I mean, that's the list. It's literally tiered on the wall. That's why I got those at the top. So you are tier five oh, you did it on the years. list. Kind of, yeah. Basically. So Josh and Josh got tier four and... Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Right. Thank you so much for being here again. Uh, have a good rest of your weekend if you don't see you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and sleep for a week. Rob said go hug Liv. Stop being a meanie. Shut up, Rob, you fucking prick. You rat. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.